What's going on people? This is Easy Techie and I actually came across uh, a serious bug in Far Cry 3 uh, which was a crash that happened when I was playing the game. I got a blank screen and when I asked my f uh, fellow members uh, in my blog and my friends as well they were also facing some similar kind of issues, few of them and uh, Ubisoft was not really answering to this problem and so I thought why not you know fix this problem and listen to the people who are you know getting these errors and what kind of uh, fix that can have so these are the solutions that you can have in order to fix the problem but before we get into the fixes uh, let me just clarify you here I'm actually going to explain through different uh, solutions that I've actually written on a blog post uh, you can just go to the link in the description and uh, read through this uh, if you do not have the patience to listen to this uh, you know explanation that I'm giving uh, in this video however let me just clarify and let me just explain to you the causes and solutions to this error but before that let's understand the system requirements for the game that is Far Cry 3 Far Cry 3 basically uh, needs the DirectX version which is 9.0 C a lot of members out there have uh, a 9 uh, 11 version or a higher version so I mean 11 version that's the higher one so they are they are using that and they are getting this error the DirectX 11 version basically has a multiple threading uh, uh, multiple threading which is not compatible with the uh, Far Cry 3 so you need to actually install DirectX 9 version if you want to play the game alright that is one big clarification there that you need to actually uh, understand okay so the another thing that you need to know is the 4 GB uh, RAM that is required for Vista as well as Windows 7 if you have uh, Windows XP then that would need uh, just uh, 2 GB of RAM video memory would be uh, 512 MB alright so it's not much uh, if you have an Nvidia again there is there is a catch uh, that you would be I would be explaining in the later part of the video and then Intel dual core uh, 2.6 gigahertz or better so those are the uh, you know summarizing I'm just summarizing the uh, system requirements so this Far Cry 3 seems to have lot, got a lot of crashes uh, when beginning the game or it just freezes or it gets a blank screen or it gets auto minimized you know uh, because there are some corrupt files including the game profile.xml or some missing DLLs that are actually uh, present in your installation files and the DirectX 11 version which doesn't comply with the Far Cry 3 so now these are the fixes that you can have for stopping crashing bug of the Far Cry 3 the first one is to switch to a single screen a lot of players are playing in dual screens because they want to get a better view etc and that you know not having problems with other games so they are just trying it with the Far Cry 3 also but um, you know you need to actually uh, switch to a single screen because that's the thing that is creating the error it doesn't suit two double screens all right switch off the ones or disable just one screen and you'd be able to play the game let's right, say so that's one fix that I wanna you know inform to those people who are you know trying to play in dual screen other than that you can download uh, the official version of DirectX 9.0c uh, which is uh, provided in the blog in the link in the description or you can just go to the uh, website uh, just google search it again uh, in the game profile.xml you need to go to the game directory and you know uh, find out this game profile.xml and in the game profile.xml just open it in notepad and edit this d3 d11 multi-threaded rendering to zero okay just uh, you know equals to zero you need to set it to zero because that's uh, basically how you can you know uh, switch to uh, from a DirectX 11 version you know you can prevent the multi-threading thing and you can play the game so that's one thing that I wanted to uh, you know clarify and the next thing is uh, the Windows XP SP3 uh, this happens with a lot of games that y you know the RAM is more uh, uh, as a requirement for playing the game uh, in this case uh, for the Far Cry 3 you need 4 GB RAM you may have a 4 GB RAM 
but again there may be some programs or something which might be you know using your ram so far cry 3 uses like the whole lot of ram a lot of uh, you know utilizes uh, every single slice of ram so you need to basically uh, be using 2 gb of ram instead of 4 gb so what you can do is you can change the compatibility mode to windows xp this happened for fable this happened for a different sort of game so you can just try out changing the compatibility just go to the executable file of the far cry 3 right click and go to the properties and change the compatibility mode to windows xp if possible you can also change uh, i mean disable the visual themes and desktop composition uh, that is possible i mean you can just go to the properties and do that so that's how you actually change and then play the game okay so a lot of members out there uh, uh, in uh, have reported that they have been playing the game with those settings the next thing that i want to inform is to download and install the required software because in order to play this game you need to have the required number of softwares microsoft net framework 4.0 4.5 C, Microsoft Visual C++ 2010, 3.5 Microsoft Net Framework, and DirectX 9 0C. So that's these are the important softwares that you need to. You can just Google it and download and install these files. If they prompt you for repairing uh, the files, you can just uh, allow it to because there may be some corruption or damaging of files while uh, in the previous. Uh, installation so you can do that other than that you can also disable some of the programs which might be interfering with the DirectX or with the video memory uh, which uh, may include Flaps, Xfire, Steam Overlay, TeamSpeak, Asus Smart Doctor, Evolve Client, Camer OSD etc okay so you need to disable those you, you may not be you know playing two games together right so uh, similarly you cannot be uh, you know utilizing the amount of video memory uh, in your background programs and again trying to play the game so you need to have 512 MB RAM and uh, I mean 512 MB video memory in order to play the game as a minimum requirement you need to update or reinstall Nvidia drivers so what happens is uh, what happened with one of the members is that they were trying to play the game but uh, they weren't able to then what they did is they just uninstalled nvidia in the safe mode they also used the driver display uninstaller they reinstalled the game all right then this method basically after reinstalling in the safe mode i'm talking about safe mode you need to reinstall in the safe mode with the driver display uninstaller after doing that and you know reinstalling the version of uh, this version 2011 version 267.85 they installed this version of nvidia and it seemed to work okay so you can you know check it out if it works for you La the last tip or the last solution or fix that i can give you is to install the right uplay software so you, you need to manually uninstall the software there will be the executable the uninstaller file you can just check it out and then uninstall it and you can find this file in the program files ubisoft ubisoft game launcher so you need to just download cc cleaner and check for any issues and again uh, install from the official software install you play and then patch it with far cry 3 log in and try playing the game again so if that helps you then uh, I think that will help you because a lot of members out there reportedly said that it's uh, it's working for them but that is something uh, left to you to try out anyways if you have any other fixes which work for you you can comment below so that other members are informed other players are informed and feel free to share it if this video helped you okay thanks for watching